Hello food fans, are you ready for breakfast? We're going to have pancakes. Uh, on Sundays I have pancakes for breakfast and uh, this is Sunday. I think it's what the 18th, 19th, probably the 20th of uh, February and this is 2022 and the pancakes will be good, they'll be sweet and we will have something secret added to the pancakes as they're cooking and we might add a secret ingredient or two on the side. So let's get started. And we begin by heating up the pan. I got uh, high heat on the pan and I have some nonstick spray in there and some vegetable oil. This is the pancake batter that I made according to the directions on the box of pancake mix. And what I'm going to do is pour some of this into the pan to start cooking into a pancake. I make them one at a time. And the uh, mix is one cup of pancake flour and two-thirds cup of water for the box I had. But read the instructions on your box of pancake mix. And let's get started here with uh, pancake number one. We were looking for little uh, bubbles to come into the uh, pancake uh, like on the surface of the moon you see the little volcano holes we're looking for that in the pancake and you probably see the little holes little tiny holes of uh, volcanoes opening up in the pancake and what I do is flip it over so the other side can cook and there's just a trace of uh, vegetable oil in the pan just to keep everything from uh, sticking and the first pancake is quite done. I'm going to put it into the plate over here out of sight. And I'm going to pour the batter for the second pancake. And when I make the second pancake, I will add one of our secret ingredients to the second pancake. We'll let that cook a while, then we'll add the secret ingredient and flip it over. Before I flip this, I will add an item here. Let me get it out of the little container. And I will sprinkle it here and there. These are raisins. And I will turn this pancake over. And the raisins will be cooking up inside. And we'll get ready for uh, pancake number three here pretty soon. Let me flip this while the camera is running. I'll get my spatula. And get right underneath here. Now these raisins might either stick or they'll uh, fall into the pan. Either way, they're going to wind up under the pancake. Except for this little guy. There, he's safe now. Let that side cook. Now I will put pancake number two into the dish with the raisins on the bottom there. And I'm going to pour the batter. And in the pancake number three we will add a different secret ingredient. I'm going to add one secret, in secret ingredient here to cook alongside pancakes and that is sausage and this is a vegetarian sausage and let me get the box uh, this is Morning Star Farms and they don't pay me anything to mention them and these sausages are quite good I like them if you like the meat sausages uh, just put in some meat sausages and let it start cooking along with the high heat there that will make good pancakes and then in just a teensy weensy bit I'm going to put uh, secret ingredient number two and a half, two point five into the pancake batter that is cooking there that will be pancake number three. It will get a secret ingredient all its own. Now secret ingredient number two into uh, pancake number three and this is uh, some chocolate chips like you might find in cookies. Let me just uh, 
Get a handful here. Put some chocolate chips in there. This will stick to the pan when I turn this over, but it will sure add some flavor to the pancakes. And I do eat chocolate chips just as a snack at night when I'm watching a movie. So I shall flip this one over with the spatula. And I'll also turn the vegetarian sausage patties over. That ought to do something there. Let that cook. And I shall now turn the heat out. Let the sausage cook just a little bit longer. It's getting brown there on the side. And I'll remove Mr. Pancake here, number three. Put it into the dish with the other pancakes. And get ready to eat. And the sausage went uh, with it. And let's see, what is that? Is that chocolate, probably? We'll put that over there. That will be good, and we shall get ready to eat. Uh, I've got plenty of batter left over for another breakfast. I'll keep that in the refrigerator in a uh, covered container. And we will reveal the last two secret ingredients and uh, this one is just a cup of hot water and I'm going to add the uh, coffee to it. This is instant coffee. I will, will not be uh, drinking root beer with this meal. I'll put about one and a half teaspoons. Are they teaspoons or are they coffee spoons? One and a half coffee spoons of coffee. And I also have orange juice. This is breakfast. So let me have a sip of orange juice real fast. Orange juice is one of the ingredients that's uh, been going up in price a lot recently. But it's good. And they package it in smaller containers now. How do I open this? This is the syrup. And it must open somehow. Maybe it doesn't. That's got to open. There we go. And we got the uh, Sausage, vegetarian sausage, and we've got uh, three pancakes. I used to uh, have three pancakes for breakfast back in uh, the mid-1950s. Three pancakes, two eggs, uh, two pieces of toast, some hash brown potatoes, and uh, a glass of milk. And it was 77 cents, including tax. And the coffee is good. And get my spoon for the pancakes. And this uh, top pancake has some chocolates in it, some chocolate treats. Yes, it does. And um, 77 cents for breakfast is the um, supper meal at that place where I used to eat when I was. Um, First out on my own when I was 17 years old, up until the time I was about uh, 22. The evening meal, uh, sometimes I'd have the rib steak dinner and that was 85 cents, including soup, salad, and dessert. Pancakes are good, 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 pancakes are good. Very good. Get some of the vegetarian sausage. It 
This all goes together well. You could add strawberries if you wanted to. If you had some strawberries hanging around there you didn't know what to do with. Same thing with blueberries. Some of you entertainers might wonder about uh, what to do with your YouTube channel. How to get more uh, subscribers, more views, and so on. The main thing, main secret, if it is a secret, to getting views and subscribers on YouTube. Mmm, pancakes are good. Let me get a sip of coffee here. Keep the kids away from uh, hot beverages. And sharpen eyes, the secret to uh, getting more views, more subscribers at YouTube is to tap into the lanes that are already there, people going to and from different videos. Tap into what the people are searching for. Uh, for example, if you play guitar and sing, and if you just sing a song, whether it's original, public domain, or published, you might get a certain number of views, but if you put up the same video and you make it how to play the guitar, people are searching that. Or talking about public domain songs, every year a bunch of songs, January 1st, go into public domain because they're too old to maintain and uh, they just become public domain. Anyone can perform them without paying any royalties. If you put up a video with say 20 public domain songs, here are 20 popular domain songs that once were pop, pop hits. Chocolate is good. Chocolate is something I have every day. Orange juice is something I have every day. Coffee I have every day. Every day I have uh, cabbage and carrots. And I have whole wheat bread. And I have raisins and peanut butter and peanuts. There are some foods I have a couple times a week, like a can of beans I'll add to spaghetti. I have fish, uh, tuna, usually, once a week. Pancakes are so good. Next spoonful, I'll dig down to the raisins. And to get uh, views, <clears throat> in addition to uh, tapping into what people are searching for, It never hurts to leave a comment, a nice comment on someone else's video, not a comment that says, hey, come to my channel, watch me, boy, I'm good. Just if you see something that's spectacular, like, um, for example, I'll, I'll recommend 405 
comma, the movie. 405, the movie. It's a three-minute video. It was on YouTube before I was on YouTube, and I was on YouTube April of uh, 2006. If you go to watch 405, the movie, and you find a good, clear print of it, uh, a lot of people downloaded it and re-uploaded it and downloaded it and re-uploaded it. And some of the uh, videos are not good quality. Time for some coffee. But I think you will like 405 the movie and then just be polite and leave a comment. And all you say in the comments, I'm like, that's a great movie. I love the special effects, that kind of comment, because they have, way back then, prior to April of 2006, they had superb editing skills when they put together 405 the movie. I find a lot of good old movies at uh, YouTube also. There are a lot of channels now with good movies. I watched a lot of the movies that are up for Screen Actors Guild Awards this year. And I will vote, maybe today or tomorrow, for the various categories, coffee. I like instant coffee, <clears throat> and I like coffee for breakfast. I don't drink a lot of coffee. Those movies that are up for awards this year, there are a lot of movies based on true events, biographies. There's at least one movie that's a remake of a great movie. I like the old movies. There are some movies made after the year 2000 that I like, but not very many. I like the Alfred Hitchcock movies. I like the chocolate tastes good in the pancakes. I'm very fortunate to uh, have had good food. By good, I mean I like it. Tastes good. I stay healthy. Um, if I didn't eat something because there was a paragraph somewhere that said it wasn't good for you, I would have missed out on a lot of good meals because I, I like what I like. I, I don't eat spam every day. But once a year, I don't think it's going to be too harmful. I'm glad I didn't smoke. The reason I don't smoke is because I'm too cheap. Most of my generation did have the habit of smoking cigarettes and most of my generation is no longer around unfortunately 
lot of good people that I knew. One of the features of my channel, I guess it's a feature of a lot of channels, let me get the orange juice. When you uh, come to my channel, just click on Feature Man, and then the channel comes up, and across the top there's a few links you can click on. One of them is Community. If you click on Community, you'll find some uh, polls, P-O-L-L-S, where I ask a question and the viewers put in lots of funny answers. Pancake's almost gone. No dessert. Breakfast doesn't have a dessert <clears throat> unless it's uh, already built in with something like pancakes. No salad with breakfast. Good, good food. Two more bites. last bite. Thank you for joining me for breakfast. Thank you for watching.